MIDI objects can now finally be extended to the left in the arranger. This is something I've long requested and I'm very happy they finally implemented it. There's an interesting feature that's been added to the MIDI editor. You can now make a selection of MIDI notes in the MIDI editor and copy and paste them into the arranger. As an example, I'm going to lasso select some notes in the MIDI editor and I'm going to edit, copy. I'm placing the play cursor at the desired position in the VIP. Then I'm right clicking and choosing paste insert clip. A new MIDI object has now been created containing the notes I selected. There's a new MIDI function called controller smoothing. I'm going to give you an example. I'm pressing record and moving the modulation wheel on my keyboard. You can see the MIDI modulation data showing on the object. I'm clicking on the controller lane icon. This reveals the controller lane editor at the bottom of the piano roll. It's showing velocity currently, but I want to view the modulation wheel data, which is controller one. So I'm enabling that and hiding velocity. You can see the mod wheel data is showing in the modulation lane. So I'm lasso selecting it. There's a new controller smoothing icon at the top of the editor, and I'm clicking on that. The modulation data has now been smoothed. There is also a new tool for moving and scaling selected controller data. This becomes active once the data is selected. If I move my mouse to the bottom, a double arrow appears and I can move the data left or right. There are also a couple of arrow-like icons above which can be used to manipulate the data up or down or scale it. The middle arrow moves the data without changing its relative position. The top arrow allows you to make the curve shallower or steeper. You can drag the left handle up or down to create a scaling offset. And the same with the right handle plus the right center handle can be used to invert the position of the data. You can also select just a portion of the data and move that independently of the rest. Scale it, invert it or offset it. So all in all a pretty useful function. This new controller lane selection method is different to previous versions. If I make a selection vertically, from top to bottom and then to the right, all data is selected as always. But if I select the bottom third, only the data values which fall within that range will be selected. Likewise, if I select a horizontal band towards the middle, only the data within that area will be selected. So this gives you very flexible options for editing. Controller scaling can be very useful for MIDI drums as well. I'm going to select the drum part and turn on the velocity lane and hide the modulation lane. I want to do some editing with the hi-hats. I'm going to click on the note next to the hi-hat which will filter out all the other notes. So now only the hi-hat part is showing in the velocity lane. I've already edited the velocity so the hi-hat downbeat is louder than the upbeat. This is a good way to give the hi-hat a better feel. Let's assume I want to change the level of the lower velocity notes. I can lasso so only those notes are within the selection. Then I can grab the adjustment tool and move those selected velocity values up or down. Say for example I want to invert the selection so that the downbeats are quieter than the upbeats. 
To do this, I need to select all of the hi-hat notes. I'm double clicking between one of the notes to select all of them. Now I'm using the inverse tool on the right and pulling it downwards. Now the velocity levels have reversed, but I need them louder. So I'm using the central level handle to raise the overall velocity. So now they are inverted. To adjust the levels of the quieter notes, just drag a selection so they are included and move them up or down with the central level handle. So that concludes my overview of the MIDI related improvements in Samplitude Pro X4. I hope you found it useful and until next time, all the best.